Think you've got what it takes to guess the mystery troops? We're offering a gold pass to the first 5 subscribers who correctly identify all 5 hidden troops. Each troop comes with 10 clues to help you on your quest now let's start with the first troops. Clue 1. You can have maximum of 10 of these troops at one time in a complete set of fully upgraded army camps. This number increases to 11 if you include the one that can fit into a level 5 or higher clan castle. On the battlefield, you can clone an additional 4 of these troops with 4 level 5 or higher clone spells, 3 from the regular spell inventory, and 1 from a level 10 or higher clan castle, for a total of 15. Clue 2. The word for this troop occurs once in the Bible in Psalm 139, colon, 16, which uses the word galmi, meaning my light for more raw material, connoting the unfinished human being. Clue 3. In Jewish folklore, this anthropomorphic being is animated from inanimate matter, usually clay or mud. The most famous narrative involves Judah Loeb and Bizanel, the late 16th century rabbi of Prague. Clue 4. The level 6 version of this troop resembles its Clash Royale counterpart. Clue 5. This troop had a special event from UTC 8 o'clock the 14th of January 17 through UTC 8 o'clock the 16th of January 17, functioning like a mini achievement with a limited time period. The event featured a 90% cost reduction, and players needed to win 3 multiplayer battles using these troops to claim rewards. Clue 6. This troop was likely inspired by the Promethean from Age of Mythology, as both are stone creatures that split into smaller versions of themselves once defeated. Clue 7. In Clash Royale, a loading screen hint suggests that this troop's heart is made of stone. Clue 8. This troop is featured as a barbarian king skin. It is one of five troops featured as a hero skin, the others being the Goblin, P.E.K.K.A., Miner, and Valkyrie. Clue 9. The level 11 version of this troop has the highest hit points among all regular troops. Clue 10. This troop, along with balloons and lava hounds, delivers splash damage upon dying, contrasting with the wall breaker, who dies as it delivers splash damage. Now for the second troops. Clue 1. This troop is automatically summoned once its altar is constructed in Clash of Clans and can be set to air or ground mode. Clue 2. It has an extra life system, where damage is first subtracted from its extra life bar, before affecting its regular life bar. Clue 3. Its abilities include making all attacking units invincible for a short period of time, and increasing the health of other attacking units within its radius. Clue 4. Upgrading the blacksmith to specific levels unlocks equipment like Rage Gem and Healing Tome for this troop. Clue 5. When defending, it turns into a statue and attacks units in its range, acting like a building, rather than a hero. Clue 6. This troop can bypass walls regardless of the mode it is set to, but it may attack a wall if other nearby troops are targeting it. Clue 7. It regenerates health using an extra life system, where both its regular life bar and extra life bar are generated at the same rate. Clue 8. When attacking, it has a unique ability that can be toggled off to automatically activate when near defeat. Clue 9. This troop is considered a building on defense and is not affected by poison spells, but can be damaged by earthquake spells. Clue 10. It is the third hero introduced in Clash of Clans and is known for its supporting abilities and long range. Now for the third troops. Clue 1. This troop has a maximum limit of 53 in fully upgraded army camps, which increases to 61 with clan castle inclusion. Clue 2. Ineffective against buildings, it's possible to clone up to 28 additional units using clone spells, though it's generally not advisable. Clue 3. Originally suspected of stalking heroes in developer liver streams, alongside characters from other games. Clue 4. Speculated to be involved in brewing dark elixir or poison spells. Clue 5. Displays unique upgrade differences at each level, similar to Dragon, PKKA, Yeti, Dragon Rider, and Electro Titan. Clue 6. Seen wielding sword cards in in-game artwork, with some variations noted between trailers and actual gamma play. Clue 7. One of three troops with three preferred target stages, reducing to two if no clan castle troops are present. Clue 8. Features a hero crown on one of its cards, 
highlighting its preference for targeting heroes. Clue 9. This troop does not appear in Clash Royale, distinguishing it from other home village troops. Clue 10. Known for being among the troops with the fewest levels in the home village, excluding super troops. Now for the fourth troops. Clue 1. A ranged hut vulnerable to air defenses, best used after eliminating them, or with a hero walk strategy. Clue 2. Can be targeted by seeking air mines, and triggers air traps, so deploy cautiously. Clue 3. Often paired with heroes like Archer Queen or Grand Warden for increased survivability and strategic attacks. Clue 4. Multiple tasks on the same target reduce efficiency after a certain number, affecting overall healing output. Clue 5. Healing spells can increase this troop's longevity on the battlefield, especially when targeted by defenses. Clue 6. Commonly used in attack strategies like Queen Walks or Warden Walks, exploiting their healing capabilities. Clue 7. Has visual upgrades at different levels, but remains vulnerable to ground traps like air bombs and seeking air mines. Clue 8. Used strategically to support offensive units and maintain their health during attacks. Clue 9. Defensive measures include positioning air defenses to protect against ground assaults, and deploying seeking air mines strategically. Clue 10. While effective in healing, its efficiency decreases when massed on one target, particularly evident in higher level gamma play. Now for the last troop. Clue 1. This troop glides through the air with precision, dropping bombs on defensive structures. Clue 2. Equipped with wings, it moves swiftly across the battlefield, making it effective in quick strikes. Clue 3. Its ability to target defensive structures provides tactical advantage in attack strategies. Clue 4. Vulnerable to high damage defenses like archer towers and air sweepers, it relies on distractions or spells for protection. Clue 5. When deployed in groups, these troops can overwhelm defenses, especially if left unchecked. Clue 6. Despite its flying ability, this troop can be lured away by exposed buildings or troops if they pose a threat. Clue 7. Known for its bomb dropping attacks, this troop deals consistent damage to defensive structures from a safe distance. Clue 8. Its low health makes it susceptible to splash damage, requiring careful deployment in battles. Clue 9. With its ability to bypass ground-based traps and mines, this troop is effective in penetrating deep into enemy territory. Clue 10. This troop's versatility makes it a valuable asset in both ground-based and air-based attack strategies.